Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to better choose a photo when uploading to a website or using it in an application. So, to illustrate this problem, let's pretend I'm uploading a new profile picture to Facebook. Typical way that you would want to upload a photo, uh, you would select some sort of option that would then bring up a file dialog box and have you choose a photograph. So I'm going to delve into my Documents folder here and I've got a folder called Pics. And I want to pick which photo to put there. Now you can see here I'm in List View and it's really hard to tell what photo it is that I want to upload. They all have cryptic names and I can't quite remember which one it is. It's a little bit better if I put it into the Column View here because now I get the Preview pane here on the right. So method number one for better selection is to do that. And you can see I could even expand a little bit this column here and maybe get a better view of this image there. So now I've expanded this box. So now I can flip through these photos and the arrow keys are really useful here. I can arrow down and see the different photos. So next I could also go to the icon view here. And once I'm on an icon view, if I have a lot of space, I can see icons of all these photos and I might be able to identify the one I want. Now fortunately there's no way to zoom in on these any further uh, or to uh, change their icon size. So it's not a very good method unless it's just ma a matter of picking one photo out of a lot of different looking photos. So the next option might be to use Cover Flow View here. And Cover Flow View gives me a pretty good size preview. I can uh, change the size of the preview there a little bit by dragging that up or down. And I could flip through these and the arrow keys are useful or I could even uh, click on the photos in here to be able to see them a little clearer. And here's like the last method. The last method I'm going to go back to List View where it's impossible to see the, the photos. And I'm going to use the Quick Look. Quick Look is basically hit the space bar. And you might have already used this in the Finder where you select a file and hit the space bar and you could see a preview of it. But you could use it here in File Open Dialogs as well. I hit the space bar and I get a preview of this image here. And I can expand this to be as big as I want. So this is almost the best option, especially if say I'm looking at a bunch of different headshots and they're all almost identical and I want to pick out that one that is just perfect. And I can use the arrow keys to flip through them. I don't have to close this window and choose a new one and hit spacebar again. I can just arrow through these or even just select them here with the uh, cursor and you can see the preview window stays there so I don't have to dismiss it and bring it back again. And once I know which file I want I can get rid of it and then choose it here. So you can see these are all very basic things you do in the Finder but you may not realize that you can also do them in Open File Dialogs and they're very important when you're going to do something like select an image for upload. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. If you found this video useful, there's one thing you can do for me in return. It won't cost you anything and it will just take you a few seconds. If you're not already at MacMost.com, go there and then look for the video you just watched and go to that page. Underneath the video you'll see a bunch of different links that help you share the video with friends. Take a second to click the Like button. This sends a signal out to the rest of the Internet that the video is worth watching. Thanks.